What gun has the fastest movement speed in zombies? Normally when we come in here, we're trying to figure out which weapon does the most damage. But today, thanks to a spreadsheet that I found from user Volks on Reddit, he said that the MX-9 and the Fennec 45 have the fastest movement speed out of any weapon in the game. Well, specifically guns, because I'm sure there's some melee weapons out there that got some better movement speed, but... We want to be able to shoot back at whatever we're fighting. And a good way to test this is on this Hellhound right here. So Hellhound, go ahead and chase me. Actually, I'll let you bite me once. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if we can outrun him. Right now I'm using the Fennec. Here is my build for the Fennec, by the way. If you want to copy this uh, speed build, because it's definitely not built for damage, I'll tell you that. And so far, he hasn't been able to touch us. We're dusting him. Yeah, he's still way behind us. But this is only a tier one Hellhound. So maybe they got different speeds and different tiers. But now I'm using the MX-9. I'll let the Hellhound bite me. There we go. And now we're off to the races again. I can hear him behind me a bit closer, but I still haven't been bit. And we don't even have stamina up active right now. And I wasn't even tack sprinting. This is just normal sprint. So far, so good. This is living up to the hype of being this fast. Now let's switch to third person and run. Maybe we can see a bit better. I wish I could still free look in third person. But even like a, a foot or so behind me, this dude ain't catching up. And then we switch to our Fennec here. I guess we can't really tell if we're going that much faster, but he sounds a little bit further back. But while we're testing out the movement speeds here, we'll also, of course, be getting the camos for each weapon. And even though we aren't checking the damage on him, we will still go into the tier three zone and try to take out like a mega abomination, fight some zombies there and just see how it does. Because how useful is movement speed if you can't really do any damage with the weapon? You might as well come in with your fist, right? And before we bring this to the tier three zone, I'm going to do a quick little 40 yard dash and then compare them while I edit. So I'm starting with my toe on the the line here and i'm gonna just spam my tax sprint until i get all the way across the field and just see how much faster one is than the other and i don't know what the results are going to be to that until i added this but i kind of think the fennec might be a little bit faster just from uh a naked eye perspective. The results are in and NFL front offices need to hit my line immediately because I have an elite eye for speed. For both of these weapons, I tried to get as close as I could to the same starting spot as my little brain could let me remember. And I took off running. And I wasn't kidding about trying to figure out the 40 yard dash time. I tried to figure out where 40 yards from our starting point would be at using the Shutterstock image comparing a football field to a soccer field. And with that information, with our Fennec 45, we ran a 43340 and a 4.540 with our MX-9. So it's not Chris Johnson's speed, but they still both ended up being pretty fast with our Fennec 45 being faster. But this was so extra and unnecessary. I'm gonna let the rest of this run play out and then we'll go back to me testing this in tier three. All right, now here's the real test. Still don't have stamina up. Still haven't pack a punch the weapon in case that somehow makes any kind of difference in the, the sprint speed. But now I'm just gonna run around through the tier three zone here, starting with the Fennec to see if Zombie can actually catch up to me. Oh, I should probably switch to third person. Hold on, let me throw a decoy to start. And let's take off. I'm gonna try to find a nice straight line to run at. That way I don't have to like maneuver around obstacles or other zombies spawning. Right here seems pretty decent starting now. He just bit me. Let's see if we can outspeed them. I, I'm spamming every time I get my tax sprint. And it does sound like they're right behind me. Yep, they got to me. So it doesn't seem like we can outspeed them just yet with uh, the Fennec. But what about it with our MX-9? So he just bit me. We're sprinting again. Bit me again. And again. Okay, maybe this isn't the best spot to start it up. All right, let's try running right down this road. I'm gonna wait till my tax sprint's full. All right, there we go. He just bit me and I'm off to the races. I can see him right there in the shadow and he's catching up pretty fast. Yeah, so the naked eye test might be right. I think the Fenix is, is definitely faster. But let's go ahead and pack a punch it. We'll get this to pack three. And now we're throwing stamina up on. Now are we out sprinting these guys? I think we might be. So now this is without tax sprint. You know, just normal sprint. There's a hellhound. I, I see its little feet. Oh, it got to me. Okay. So normal sprint, it can catch up. Now I'm going to spam my tax sprint and see. We got a nice, easy road right here. So far, it looks like I'm keeping him back. He's definitely like right on my tail. So like taking any kind of turn or running on a tax sprint might have him catch up. But we're actually outspeeding a hellhound. That's very good news. Let's try with the MX-9. Already got bit. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like this Hellhound's gonna get me no matter what with the MX-9. Stamina up or none. We can pack a punch it. Got to pack two. Still need to loop back around and get pack three. Holy shit, that's a lot of zombies I've been training around this whole time. We got a whole army behind us. Yeah, go to the decoy. Leave me alone. Let's get that to pack three. 
And let's switch back to first person. I wish I knew the key bind for it because it's so dangerous pausing and doing it. But damage wise, this build for the MX-9 isn't doing a whole lot. We had to sacrifice a lot just to get it to its fastest speed. That's kind of crazy that like one weapon in the game, at least according to the spreadsheet, can out sprint tier three hellhounds. And that's what's spamming tax sprint. And of course, again, what I mean by only one weapon, I mean only one bullet weapon. There's probably melees out there that can out sprint them. Let's test our damage for the Fennec. Honestly, this seems like it does a decent bit more. I mean, it still takes a few shots to take down a Hellhound, but I had to put on the burst mod for this. And it's not doing terrible. We do only have like, I think our base mag before Pack-A-Punch was 12 bullets. And this one's 24. So we got double the amount of ammo, but that's still not saying a whole lot for how little the mag is in general. And then for the MX-9, our mag is 50 which isn't terrible, but there's a lot of weapons that just have like a 50 round mag anyways. So a lot more ammo with this one compared to the Fennec, but seems like less damage. Let's go ahead and grab a bounty contract and see if we can get a mega abomination. Cause we saw one when we first came to the tier three zone, but I guarantee if we went back over there, it'd be gone. Oh, and it's a mimic. Uh, I guess this could be a decent test because already testing these against the zombies, they haven't done too well. Oh wait, a mega abomination just spawned down here. We can make a quick detour. What's up, pal? Oh, he's dead immediately. That's just one shot him. Maybe the best gun in the game. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is that? What, what's up with the glitch of just elites randomly like combusting? There's no way I did that. Did it even drop any rewards? I don't think it did. Like there'd be loot on the ground or something, right? Nope, it just left a big puddle. All right, Mimic. Let's see what this is doing to you. Uh, very little damage. An extremely small amount. But it's still damage, I guess. <laughs> this uh, Fennec is the weapon I had probably the most confidence in. At least it's doing decent to this uh, non-HVT mimic. Oh no, I think we're down here. Fuck. Got cornered. Holy shit. These guns are only here for movement. They're, they're just for looks. They say speed kills. And that probably counts for A train and, and maybe Tyree kill. Because in the Fennec's case, speed might just get you killed. What about our MX-9? Is this doing any damage to him? Not really. But I'm pretty sure one of our camo challenges for the Fennec here is that we need to get five Mimic kills. So I might as well just try to tough this one out. Because for our camo challenges today for these weapons, we need to get 250 kills with them both. Then I need to get 250 point blank kills for one of them. Then I also need kills in a medium or high tier zone. And probably some other stuff I'm missing right now because I'm kind of trying not to die from this Mimic. I'll get back to that in a second. Oh, there's a nuke. You know what? I'll just take it. We need all the help we can get. There we go. Whew. These things are definitely not killing machines. So our other camo challenge is we need to get 50 armored zombie kills. Then we need 10 kills without reloading however many times with the MX-9. And then we need kills without taking damage 10 times. And we only have 16 minutes to do it. So let's go ahead and try. Damage wise though, in the tier two zone, the Fennec's pretty decent and it can sort of hold its own in tier three, but I think it's mainly just for uh, trying to elude zombies. If you want to knock out a few tier three contracts, you know, get some nice early game money. Uh, I'm trying to get our Jackrabbit kills out of the way early here. So I don't have to worry about them, which honestly should be pretty easy with this gun. Oh, I say as I get hit, but on paper, we should just be able to outspeed all these zombies. So we shouldn't be taking hits anyways, but I'll always find a way to make a challenge harder on myself. Those are 50 armored zombie kills. Those are 250 kills. Do I need to start bitching to get this jackrabbit camo? I will. It seems like it's taking a bit long. Come on, that's another jackrabbit medal. Show me the camo. Okay, come on. How many do I need? So I feel like I've gotten more than 10. I gotta be being robbed. Unless the camo already popped up and I just didn't notice it. All right, whatever. We just might have to work on it later. We gotta get some camos done for this MX-9. I'd be so pissed if I end up doing the Fennec camos for the MX-9, the MX-9 camos for the Fennec. But I would not be surprised. We're at the stage of the camo curse where doubt starts to set in. Oh, there's our 10 kills without reloading 10 times. Okay, maybe we are onto, onto something. But the Aether Storm is about to start moving and we don't have all of our kills in the medium threat zone or just all of our kills in general. Oh, there's like 250 kills. And all of our kills have been in medium or high threat zone. We still need point blanks though. I didn't even check where the storm's at. Are we good? We're good for maybe like two more minutes. Oh, and there's our point blanks. Okay. If we can somehow squeeze out our kills without taking damage while we finish this up, all we got to do is hunt down like three more minute mimics. Almost made it through that whole sentence without stuttering. Yeah, I don't know how many Jackrabbit medals I got throughout that, but we're finally done with this contract. 
and just in time i can see the storm moving in so our final exfil is probably gonna be somewhere up here we got time to try to find some mimics on the way there's usually a nice little stronghold this way that has just two mimics sitting on the roof every time i drive by it but with my luck it won't even be a stronghold oh it's a mark stronghold this time perfect we gotta find zombie strongholds there's one right up here oh there's one on the roof come on down here you fuck actually you don't even need to let me run through and see if i can spawn one though there we go perfect and there's our mimic kills now we just need to uh, get kills with uh out taking damage and i feel like that the challenge is bugged so i've gotten plenty of kills without taking damage oh nope. it don't help that whenever i say it i get hit though okay good thing there's an outlast right over here we can get some good spawns while we're waiting for the storm to catch up and i accidentally ended the outlast i was not paying attention Damn it. Oh, well, the storm is almost here anyways. And I have a feeling that I might have gotten in and just didn't see it. So I guess we'll find out when we exfil, but I'll still be trying until then. Oh, and there it is. Good thing I did try to get some zombies on the way there. That should be everything for them. It wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. Holy shit, the amount of zombies that spawn on final exfil is crazy. It's almost like pre-patched normal exfils, just with more elites. Why is the helicopter sliding? It's fucking moving. What happened? I swear, if I can't exfil here because the exfil helicopter has a problem, I'm gonna be pissed. You better fucking call AAA. What is it, on top of something? There's definitely fire underneath it. It just landed on something weird or something spawned underneath it. What the fuck was that? Well, that's all she wrote. Take us out of here. All right, hopefully that was enough. Did we get it? That's all of our base camos. Oh, it looks like we did. Sweet. So this is what our MX-9 looks like with golden ivory on it. I still kept the blueprint on it. So it has all these decals over it that don't necessarily mesh well, but I thought it'd look fun. And this is what our Fennec looks like with golden ivory on it. I forgot to inspect it earlier, but this thing is tiny. No wonder it's like the fastest gun in the game. I could probably fit this shit in my belly button if I had to. This thing is tiny. Well, that's the price you gotta pay for speed. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.